Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, a lot of things have happened since the last episode. I did a few repairs and tweaks. It's been like over a month since I, re well, in game time recorded. Yesterday I was where I recorded the last mission, but, um, so, where do I start? The headshot that we got, yes, there was a comment that um, you thought that they had fixed that. And apparently they have. I'm still running on a on a earlier version, uh, just because it's running for state. It's running stably for me, so I haven't really upgraded. I should probably do that. I'll probably do that this weekend just to see how stable the versions are, what's going on. But um, we'll just see how it goes. Um, anyway, uh, that being said, let's move into the mech bays because a lot of things have changed. I took a lot of your comments uh, for the past few videos for loadouts. And I've corrected a few things, made some improvements. So let's have a quick look. There's been a lot of significant changes. Okay, we're going to start with the night gear because that was the problem in the last episode. Uh, so I refit this guy. Now we can't have another error like we had with the uh, arrow system because I'm still running on the older version. Don't want to do that. So what I've done is I've gone back to a 3 LRM20 loadout with an IATM9 um, secondary uh, weapon here. Uh, it still got a, has a 540 meter range and can do indirect fire, but my idea with this is that when we do get into a direct fire situation, uh, we do have um, HE ammo, so we'll be able to at least have a half decent punch as well. Um, so that's why we threw this in. The LRM20s have, are backed up with by uh, uh, eight turns of firing with LK ammo and four turns of firing with swarm ammo. So we've got a plenty of ammo to, to use here. I've also dropped an advanced AMS system in. It's working really, really well in uh, the Night Witches series. So uh, I put a couple tons of ammo in with that. So this should be able to protect the whole lance, uh, which I'm really hoping works out uh, for us. And our heat sinking is pretty good. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Um, so we should be just fine with this guy. So once again, just a long range artillery platform. I went with ferro fibers rather than stealth armor just because it's gonna be standing so far back. Hopefully we don't get targeted. So the next thing we want to look at are the two Timberwolves. So I pretty much made the same change to both. So we'll just show the Timberwolf C here. And we pulled out the ER large and, and both uh, are in the ER, one ER large and two ER mediums. And we replaced it with a medium pulse and a pair of medium improved heavy lasers for a little bit heavier punch close in. And you know, you guys are right. It, it was kind of a mix between long and short range weapons. These guys are short range brawlers. They should have short range, short ranged weapons. And I think having a pair of these uh, plus the medium pulse is, is uh, going to improve our damage, like pinpoint damage, especially with these guys um, and hit chance overall with the medium pulse. So I'm running with both, uh, both mechs exactly the same way. Um, they are relatively cool. This mech is actually cooler than the other one. Um, and it's just simply because of the way uh, the equipment that I had to lay them both out. But they are pretty much exactly the same. This one has E-Cooling plus five. The other one's got plus three. Marginal difference, not, not a big deal. And the Red Reaper, um, I've pulled all, you know, you guys are right with this guy. This guy should be a close in brawler, shouldn't be have long range weapons and stuff. I was trying to outfit it kind of the same way I had my old uh, um, Timberwolves and I shouldn't have right so I pulled all of the everything off this guy like laser wise because we're gonna re rethink and redo this guy a little later on I mean we left, we left the uh, clan XL engine in there and uh, feral lamblar and all that so it's gonna be the same idea we'll probably pull this combat shield up but we'll see I think I've got another one anyway but um, we'll see how this goes but right now I don't have the sea bills for that so I just kind of pulled the stuff out that I needed the other Black Knight, um, because I had a bunch of Seabills left over after selling a whole bunch of stuff, uh, because we want to get this guy up and running as well, I just dropped a Clan XL engine in here just to make sure that we've got it in there. With Because I had a lot of Seabills that when I sold a bunch of stuff, I had like over 5 million Seabills or something. So I put one in here just so that it's ready to go when we're ready to update it and we don't have to look for money to do that. Um, that was like 1.9 million just to drop this in by itself. Anyway, uh, then the, the Timberwolf Pirate. So let's have a look at this guy. So this is kind of what I like for Timberwolf build out, uh, loadouts. Um, and this is a Prototype XL engine. Uh, it's a 260 core. It's not very fast mech, but we do have the Nova CWS. Uh, prototype double heat sinks, uh, TTS energy, fire control system energy, enhanced imaging, sensor tracker. So there's plus three to hit, plus five to hit with the energy weapons. We have upper arm. Um, 
energy weapon um, a uh, accuracy. We've got two PPCs, two ER large lasers, two ER mediums with an NSS system. This guy is going to stand back with a night gear, just fire from a distance. So we've got our two close in timber wolves. We've got two mechs that are going to hang back and fire from a distance. So I'm hoping this works. Now the heat sinking on this is fantastic. 99.99. Uh, that's with the two ER PPCs at 55 heat each and two ER large lasers at 40 heat each and two ER mediums at 20 some odd heat each. We've also got a couple of light tags here to help tag uh, opponents from distances if we can. Um, so we'll see how that works out. So we'll be multi-targeting with these guys if we can just to help out our close in mechs uh, and also help out our artillery mech as well. So yeah, anyway, that's how this guy's loaded out. It's nice to be able to have the flexibility to change some things in here. I mean, the endo steel is fixed, but to be able to put in a different core and stuff makes a big difference. Um, we saved a lot of tonnage with this, which allowed us to use a lot of prototype double heat sinks, which basically almost make, like over half the uh, heat output of this thing. So anyway, so that being said, uh, let's jump into a mission today, and I'm going to go all in because why not? I figure we've got a half decent lance loadout. Let's try it out on something that's going to be a little bit tough. And let's, let's go to the command centers. Now we are at, let's just have a look at the map here. So it looks like Draconis Combine is pushing into Jade Falcon space up here. So we have been, well there's a lot more flashpoints now. We've been tasked with uh, stopping their advancement, cutting off our supply lines. So we are attacking at Sawyer today. Uh, also, whoever it is that's running uh, <laughs> the Night Witches allied with Jade Falcon, um, I don't know if you're watching this at all, but guys, come on, like change the name a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why uh, I ended the Night, Night Witches series off, but I was not on this planet, so that's not me. Whoever it is, um, yeah, change the name. I know you. maybe you like the name, maybe you like the idea, but change it just a little bit. Could you? A little, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. I, I don't really care. I just don't want people to mistake it for my other group, right? So, anyway, um, and it could be a complete coincidence. That's fine, too. Uh, anyway, let's go to the com contracts today. So, we got a smooth stone mission here. It's local pirates. So, I'm thinking, you know, we got a new loadout. You know, there's really nothing else that, you know, is amazing here that we could take. Got a repost here. A broken chain, which is a destroyed base, right? But I'm like, you know, really, let's play this one. Let's just see what happens. You know, we can always bail if we have to. And we'll, t we'll take the uh, one of the other five skull missions. If this looks like it's going to be horrible, depending on the mechs that are there, we'll just we'll just bail out. So let's accept this, and we're going to run with our main lance. We're going to bring this in for Griff, and we are going to bring forward Rhino. Um, Sundance is now gone, unfortunately, and I will not replay that mission. It, it is what it is. So we got 475 tonners here, and let's see what we can do. Well, a nice hot environment. Okay, oh, wonderful. Ah, oh, good. Two lances. Ready for action. Okay, this is not going to be an easy mission in any respect. If this guy's an artillery mech, we've got AMS for a while, and then we're going to be in trouble. So, how do I want to play this? It's not. We can't really take the high ground here. We could kind of go around this way, but I don't really want to do that. Um, we could force our way up this way, but I'm thinking we're going to use the defense. Like this is the way I always play this map. I kind of come up this way, use this defensive terrain here to block this second lance from targeting us directly, um, and then we have the option of making our way around and kind of going after this guy and forgetting about this lance, or we can fight in here. There's a nice little cliff face here that you can kind of hug along that stops them from shooting at you while you deal with whatever's here. Uh, I don't think this guy's going to close probably until we've eliminated his defense or her defense depending on who the pilot is or their defense. Um, let's get in here. So we're going to move up fast. Our Timberwolves don't really have uh, NSS's or anything. Griff does. But the other ones don't. We're going to hit these guys hard, fast, try and strip them as fast as possible, get them out of the battle. 
I mean, we got a pretty fast lance for 75 tonners. Uh, let's stay hidden for now. See if we can pick up any sensors. Okay, we do. We've got... Are you shitting me? Well, that's interesting. Um... Uh... I don't know what to say. Other than hope we don't die. Hopefully we can stay here. Oh man, they're behind a ridge there too, eh? Totally behind a ridge. I've been sent to of course you have. Fuck. Well, we didn't expect this to be easy, did we? Direwolf. Demos. Fafnir. Kodiak. Commander. We need to get away from the AoE. Shit, but well, we gotta kill these turrets. There's just no way to get around this. <sighs> Do I wanna play this mission? Here's the thing, we got what? Arrow 4, Railgun, Sniper, Thumper. So this is minefields, this is AOE, that's a direct fire, that's AOE. We've got two more turns to get to these guys because they're hidden. I copy. Yeah, we've got at least two more turns before we're at these guys. 300 armor each. They're most likely all 300. Firestart I'm not worried about. The Awesome I'm not worried about. Can we do 300 damage with the night gear? Swarm at 5 each. 100, 200, 300. We could. We could take one of the turrets out. What's up, boss? Okay, this is just so that we can get out of the uh, artillery radius. So I think the sniper is probably the best one we want to go for. God, look at the chance to hit. Not anywhere close to what we needed. At least these heavier mechs are going to take a long time to get to us. They just hit all the, themselves. It's a Mozilla. Light damage, Commander.
Standing by. Full speed. No target. Once we can see these turrets, they're wrecked. Receiving you. On my way. Double time. Waiting for orders. Roger. Full speed. Come on, finish him up this time. Ah. We have eyes on, doesn't mean he does. Well, Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. where? Who? Who is like... They self-inflicted. Well, Commander? you know the one thing I will say is thank goodness that uh, the uh, faults work against them as well as us. Kill this guy. Target destroyed. Waiting for orders. I gotta see who Griff can target before we do anything. If he can target anybody. Target this guy. That's pretty damn good heat firing. Enemy max critical damage detected. Good to go. Okay, we should be able to hit both the railgun and the sniper turret with this. Almost done with the swarm ammo, but we gotta do it. I should have did it the other way. Should have did it the other way. Try to get that guy with collateral damage. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Ah, that puts us in sight of those other guys, and I don't want that. Understood. Let's make sure we get A. Confirmed. We're going to have to go straight for the uh, big boy, I think, if we're going to succeed in this one. Because we're going to run out of ammo in the, uh, shit. My armor's getting stripped off. We're going to run out of ammo in the uh, night gear. The Mozilla! I just don't think we have the uh, ability to do this. 
Well, not the ability. We do have the ability. It's the ammo that's going to kill us in the end. Not having the, enough ammo to do this. I'm there. Eliminated. Nobody likes a snitch. Ready for orders. Let's cool off right away. Save some ammo. Hopefully we can maneuver to a relatively safe position. I copy. Get some instability back. Okay, problem one solved. I don't know if these guys can see us. Wow, look at this on Griff, eh? Look at this thing. Freaking heat bar, man. Uh, Handheld rotary AC2 pirate. That's a lot of friggin' armor on this thing. Let's work on stripping some of this off. All weapons committed. Ready for order. Unless we've got a really good chance to hit with this guy. We can get into some direct fire though. Let's switch from Swarm. We've got a lot of LK ammo, but I mean, still, it's only six turns, right? No, eight turns. 34, huh? Gotta do something. So wait, is this, this must be the, uh... Is that the mech that we're going after? Thank you for showing me that guy's groin. Really appreciate it. It looks like it is. Wow. You, uh, Commander? really want to do that? I guess you have no choice. I don't know how fast he is. Rolling. Let's just back up. We don't know how fast this guy is. He's got almost no stability. Should be able to put his ass on the ground. Ghost Bear is helping these guys out, eh? They got a Kodiak up there. Ooh, this guy's in trouble. Stripping the armor. Yes, Commander. Oh, yeah. Got our stability back now, finally. Ultra 20 firing. Roger. You going down? Yep. Have a seat, buddy. Yes. Have a frickin' seat. Roger that. So we're doing four damage with this. Five with the swarm. Let's switch to HE on this guy. I'm gonna warlord this up. I'm gonna go after him, and we're gonna go for the torso here. And yeah. Oh! <laughs> One last target. <laughs> oh, that wasn't the prototype. <laughs> that was still the best, though. Watching that piece fly off him.
Not the awesome? Oh, that's the Omega. Waiting for orders. Ten four. We gotta go right for that guy. Just, they're just trying to get angles on us. There's this nice little cliff here, although we got this sprint across here that we gotta make. I think we'll be okay though. Let's hang on to it. We may stay for the whole fight, so we have to be careful. They got a lot of heavies up there. Problem with this is we cannot engage that guy until all of us can engage at the same time. Doing so would just be a nightmare for us. Trying to get the angle on us here. <sighs> okay, Griff, can you get... You cannot get all the way over there. You might be able to from here, though. We'll probably be in there... Arc of Fire for a turn. Orders. But I don't think we can help that. Got it. It's the night gear more than anything I'm worried about because he's not going to be able to move very far. On it. Let's get started. Okay, got a little bit of fire over there. Maybe he'll walk through it. Wish that awesome oh he's getting it closer, okay. Yeah, that AMS is worth its weight in gold, man. They run out of ammo fast, but definitely worth having it on a mech. Okay, he went through the fire, it looks like. How much ammo do we have left here? I'll find out in a second. Do we have enough speed? We do. Either we're going to do it or we're not. This guy's slow as shiz anyway. Um, I think we just hammer him. Make sure we land the hits, then we can, once we open up an area, then we'll just target it with everybody else. Yep, that's all we got. Oh, he can be unstable so quick. They've got a sensor lock on me. Yeah, you and me both in a second. I'm gonna be right beside you in a second, guy. Gotta get out of the angle and we'll take the worst chance to hit. But we gotta be away from their uh their eyes on firing. Unstable. Now Griff should be able to exploit this, I think. I hope.
Oh, don't lock up on me. Come on, what are you guys doing? Don't lock up. Okay. Ow. Here goes the ATM. I lost a weapon. And a torso. Good shooting though. Fuck. Griff doesn't have a shot. Are you kidding me? Oh, yes we do. Okay, just barely. Gonna fire. Let's hope for the knockdown. Okay, he's going down. Fuck. Shit. <sighs> it's the only way this was going to work. Damage minimal. Okay, is he protecting a torso? Not really. He's taking a head hit too, eh? Oh, well, we got he's only got three health. We just got to knock him over. He's calculating the targeting on Griff. Got lucky. Let's get our stability back just in case. Alright. Where's our escape point? Oh, fucking kidding me. Of course, it's right behind these guys, because where else would it be? Standing by. Double time, let's go. Everything I've got. Solid connection on that one. Ah. I'd say overall we did pretty well in this one. We're going to leave here in a second. I'm not going to face those guys up there. How much ammo do we have left? You know what? We're out. We came. We we came here to do what we did. We wanted to do. We're withdrawing. The commander orders a retreat. All right. Well, it was a good face. 
We did destroy the prototype. How's that a fail? Anyway, whatever. Whatever. Ah, six packs alive. Let's hope this mech is alive. Well, we got an Omega piece. No, we lost the fucking night gear. Well, at least we didn't lose the pilot. Oh, for Christ's sake. Well, we did have to try it. I mean, we couldn't not try that mission. Ah, 475 tonners. We did pretty well, though, overall. If the night gear had survived those attacks, I think we would have been okay. I, maybe I shouldn't have moved him forward like that. I probably should have left him against the cliff face and just gone indirect. I was hoping for a much better chance to hit in a knockdown. Which we got, but at the cost of the mech, which probably wasn't worth it. Um, but the other thing, too, is, is if it wasn't the night gear, it would have been the other Timberwolf. It would have been Griff, probably. Anyway, now we got to figure out what the hell we're going to do for our next, <laughs> bring in the next mech in. Oh, well, we got the Stormcrow Prime running right now. We'll have to work, figure out which one is it going to be. Is it going to be this one, tanky mech, or is it going to be this guy? I don't know yet. Uh, that being said, let's get these guys fixed. Uh, it doesn't really matter which order they're in. It's going to be f seven days. Uh, and then we will uh, take another mission here. Try and get some sea bills. I don't think we did anything to this planet. We lost a bit somehow. Uh, uh, Alright. Let's take something we know we can win. Untouchable. Priority mission. Uh, oh, let's, yeah, let's destroy the, uh, <sighs> nope, meat grinder, two elite, two elite lances from the planetary government, nope, smash and grab, is this against Karina? Well, we got a pulling linchpins, capture a base, let's do this. Um, uh, it's against Karina. And... I don't want to sell anything, but we'll go this route. I don't think at three skulls we're going to really find anything we want. Uh, bring in the Stormcrow Prime, and let's deploy. Alright, let's capture this base. I don't really think that Smooth Stone was, was really a big loss. I mean, it was machine-wise for sure. But I think that kind of gives us an idea of what our lance can actually do, though. And I don't think I've ever encountered a turrets in a smooth stone mission before. It's the first time I've ever seen that. Actually, while we were coming down to land, I was actually just thinking, what could we have done differently there? And I don't know what the range of sniper artillery is, but really, if we were going to do um, anything differently, it would have been going around to the right around the mountainside and going after those hundred tonners first, killing them, and then sneaking around the mountain and attacking the smooth the other uh, the Omega from the other side. And in that regard we would have been able to hopefully stay outside the range of the turrets. So if I get another mission like that, that's what I'm gonna attempt, I think. Just to see what happens. Um, you're our scout. Let's go scout this out. Copy that. Ah Gridiron, Hetzer, Hetzer Scout, Hellspawn, Armored Laser, Thumper Artillery Replacement, Camouflaged LRM, Railgun, hooray for that! Commander? Gridiron. That's not a bad mech. Actually, this is pretty good for a uh, three-skull mission. It be good. Uh, 
Okay, we should. This guy should be hidden from sensors. Whoa. Oh, we got both legs. I'm pretty sure we got both legs. Pretty sure we got both legs. Could be wrong though. It's got 450. Let's warlord this. Get some more damage on this guy. Oh, almost got all of it. Of course you have. Oof. Damage is light. I wonder if we get a um What's up, boss? My thought is getting a uh rather than an artillery mech. Full throttle. Maybe we get a mech that's got ballistic hard points instead. Affirmed. Like another direct fire. That we can put an advanced AMS and a uh, command con uh, command console on. Standing by. Ordinance received. All right. See if we can like this guy. Yep. Going down. Receiving you. God, there's no good place to go here. Oh, that's not bad. Just step off to one side. Target this guy, let's go after this leg. There we go. Max are out of the way with. Ah, it's barely gonna put us over any heat, so we're just gonna fire everything. Terminated with extreme prejudice. This turret's in a bad spot. I mean, I guess you can fire through the windows, but... Ooh. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, well, the mech had to go down first. They've got a sensor lock on me. Oh, he hit his own guy. Okay, that was really bad. Commander? Let's get... here. Get some speed going again, and Warlord going after this guy, and fire. Oh, only hit with one, eh? All right, well. I'm here. Location confirmed. All right, let's finish this guy up, please. Thank you. Can we get the other crawler? Oh, he's in a good position. He's hiding there. Uh, it's probably not wise to move into the turrets yet. Not until we can get everybody shooting at the same time. Uh, I think we're kind of okay in here, though. This will give Rhino oh, a chance to cool off, I was going to say, but... Can't cool off when there's fighting to do. Let's turn these off, though. Firing. Your angled armor does not help you. Solid connection on that one. 
Ready for orders. Moving out. Yeah, firing. On it. Oh, Darius. Okay. Yes, Commander. Order acknowledged. Oh, we hit up heat up pretty quick. It is a warm planet though, so let's not get there. Confirmed. Stay at a direct fire range of these turrets. Gotta do them one at a time. It's good to go. Yeah. Turrets are coming online? Really? They got more turrets? Alright, alright. Okay, that guy's gone. That's a kill. I mean, this should be a win for us, you know. So I shouldn't seem, in, you know, impre like uh, surprised at anything, though. No point yep. in rushing that. Acknowledged. Uh, firing. And firing. Location confirmed. Let's finish this guy up. Alright. Now let's see if they get any reinforcements. Let's get into here. Waiting for orders. It's a nice big uh, square there, or hex. Oh. They're going to have reinforcements. Yeah, man. More parts for us. I'm here. Let's drop our heat. Order acknowledged. Wait and see what we get here. What's up, boss? Come on around this side. We want to be focused firing people. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. So we got Hunchback, Phoenix Hawk, another Hellspawn, Shadowhawk. Well, this guy kind of is the threat. Let's just use the two ER larges. Keep our heat low for when they get close. Come on, move in, guys. Give me something to move out and attack. Thank you for moving. Really helps out. Okay, got a tag on. I really want the hunchback down first, but we'll take it. I don't know if the 7S is the disco back or what is this? What that one is. Don't think so. No, it's the uh, LRM5 version. Shadowhawk. Hellspawn. Alright, let's uh, show these guys it's a bad idea to to uh, mess around with the clans. How do we want to do this here? Roger that. Start off in the Shadowhawk. He's got a lot of gak on him. And fire. 
Yeah, at least two of them hit. Or three hit. And targeting this guy. Sure, let's warlord it. A little better chance to hit. We're gonna save the uh, warlord for the hunchback. Sure. Firing. Wow, they both hit. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, I just move back here. Roger that. No point in jeopardizing anything to take damage. They don't really have any big guns right now, so. If, if that Hunchback was the AC-20 version, we would have ripped him apart, but he's got a couple LRM-5s and a bunch of medium lasers, so it's not a big deal. I don't think... Maybe they can see us. I don't know. No. I don't think they can. The Nova CEWS is, man, minus 50% signature. Against regular mechs, like the regular inner sphere mech units, they just they, they really have to be like close to see you. And if you got an NSS or whatever on top of that, it's just even harder for them to see you. I don't even think he knows we're here. He just turned his back to I think I think he just turned his back to us. Standing by. What do you think? You want to get a hunchback kill? Ah, oh, it's not from behind. I thought it was. Let's fire at this guy. Acknowledged. Oh man, so I had to take the day off work because I was feeling so lousy. Still feeling like crap, but I feel bad because one of the guys that's working from home had to get called in to finish up one of the things I was working on, so I hate when that happens. But the guy that was doing the color correction in the TV spot it kind of made me angry because he's like, oh, I need a, uh, I need a quick time movie and I need a, uh, an EDL. I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. And he has all the original footage, so I thought he was connecting to the original footage with the EDL. And apparently he wanted the QuickTime movie because he was going to use that to color correct with it. And I'm like, dude, really? You can't do that. It's just ProRes HQ, man. So I had to send him a 4K friggin' 444 version. It just kind of, I don't know. Anyway, so I had, that got messed up. So he actually was late giving us the color correction. So unfortunately, I was supposed to do it yesterday, but today's Thursday. But, you know, I'm sick today, so guy got called into work to do it. It's kind of a pain in the ass. You know, you work with the best possible quality, and somebody just wants to, like, dumb it down and then do color correction and then recompress and send it to you and you're like, guy, you can't do that. What's up, boss? It's like, why, like, spend all this time trying to make something really good and then someone just has to go and do something like that. All an ass. I'm on fire! Taking the shot. So I'm just complaining because this battle is like really boring right at the moment. It's like, it's just finishing up going through the motions, finishing these guys off. I was really hoping for better uh, defenses, but I couldn't expect from I couldn't expect much, I guess. God, I love that sound. The groaning metal. I'm on fire. It won't matter. Firing. Let's just finish this guy up, get him out of here. Fire. 
No, not quite. I think I hit something good. I'm surprised he hasn't wanted to bail out there yet, though. He's being hammered by a couple of Ultra 20s and he's decided he wants to hang on. We can still do this! No. No, you can't. Your buddy hiding over there has got the right idea, though. Oh, got something exposed. Internal structure damage. I saw that. Anyway, I don't know if you guys have experienced any kind of like. Good to go. I don't want to say yeah, it was. Yeah, it was unprofessional. I, I know if you guys experience any unprofessionalism at work and how it makes you feel, but it's like, you know, you work hard to do the best possible job you can, deliver clients the best possible product you can give them. And then somebody just like, you know, eh. It's like, come on, really, really, really. Location confirmed. You know, you want to succeed, but you can't do it by when someone does that. It's just it's like someone taking a log and throwing it under your feet when you're when you're running along. It's like, you, you know, really guy, you don't have to do that. The worst part about it is it's only like it it's only a little bit more work like a little bit a tad bit more it's not like it's any skin off your nose or anything right so Roger. this guy's taking it like a champ it was funny too because when i told the producer what was going on he kind of looked at me funny he's like i thought he was going to use the uh original source files and i'm like yeah that's what you should be doing. It's like, well, uh, anyway. Taking a critical hit. And there's a certain point when you can say, ah, it's good enough for TV. But you know what? No. No, no, no. People have paid money for this, right? And it only takes a second to do it. There we go. There we go. Mission successful. All right, let's see how we did with the planet here. All right, contract payment increased by twenty-five or twenty percent, which should cover our, which would have co probably covered our drop costs, which is good. One million. Uh, we should make our financial report this month, which is good. Let's see how much it's going to cost us to fix this Timberwolf, though. So that was a pretty good run overall. Um, there's no mechs that we can complete. Let's take some stuff that's going to be Seabill wise. So the Gauss Rifle is actually a pretty good choice. Uh, Ultra 20, what's that worth? No. Uh, Angel is worth what? Close to a mil, yeah. Bloodhound is, yeah, not that much. Core, so far, is the biggest one. XL engine even bigger. Although fire control system Goss plus three Goss accuracy. Let's take something we can use. Do we have a mech that's got ballistic hard points? Um. Uh, I want to see what that exterminator's got. Let's confirm this. Two Hellspawn parts. Wow, we got lots of Hellspawn parts now. All right, let's see what they've got. Oh, you know what? Um, I think the Mjolnir. Okay. Um, I think our Mjolnir has got a bonus with Goss Rifles, so I'm not mistaken. That could be our new Let's have a look here. It's got a bonus with Goss and PPCs, right? Um, does it not, or am I mistaken? I'm gonna need C-bills for this, though. Um, yeah, PPC in the right, Goss in the left. And it's got a bonus with both. I'm pretty sure it does. 
We've only got one ballistic hard point though. But that doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure it's got a bonus. It's got bonus damage, does it not? That's oh, the same thing. Why would you give me the same thing? Um, yeah. So I'm thinking we're gonna make the Mjolnir into our new uh, command and control mech. Yeah, right here. Fire control system champion. Oh, I see. Plus 15%. Oh, I see. It was the, so they integrated it into the cockpit. That's interesting. So we don't need the targeting system on this guy. Because we would use it with this one. And put a PPC and a gauze rifle in it. Okay. That is 15% is actually pretty damn good. That's like what? Almost 10 points per ER PPC plus 10 points and a uh, Clan Goss plus 10 points. So it'd be 80 damage. Well, 80 and 85 damage, I think, with these guys. I think the Clan Goss is 80, 75 damage, isn't it? Um, yeah. So it'd be like 88 damage, something like that. Or 80. No, 86 damage. That's pretty darn good. So we're going to need C bills for that for sure. Um, let's just check out the exterminator. I don't. I think I want to go with that one over top of this guy. This guy doesn't really. He's got missile and energy hard points. So with this guy, it would be. It would be. We'd be back to our indirect fire missile mech with chameleon LPS. Missiles are in the torso and the CT, so the CT would be, we wouldn't be able to put anything in here, really. Nothing that's of any value. The LRM-20s would be in the torsos. And then some direct fire weaponry with some support. I mean, it's got a lot of support hard points. So it's easy enough to get the uh, advanced AMS. Although, does the Mjolnir have any hard points for support? I can't remember. If it doesn't, it might not be a good candidate. Um, it does. It's got five support hard points. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. All right, so we're going to take the mule near then as our new command and control mech. Um, I will try to sell some stuff between episodes and get this guy up and running. Most likely it won't happen before the next episode because it's going to cost a lot once we get the engine in here and everything. Um, but I'll see what we can do. Um... Yeah, I might actually go and sell a bunch of light mech parts because I don't think we're ever going to go back to light mechs in this series. So I'll probably do that. And we've got a few inner sphere mechs here in storage that I'll probably end up selling off just to get some C-bills so we can get that running. Um, where are we here? So we got a Thunderbolt here we can get rid of. Um, we can probably get rid of the Arctic Wolf. Uh, maybe the Kit Fox, the Adder. Because they're all light mechs right now. We don't really, we're not really going to run that way anymore. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll hang on to the gorilla, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I want to get some sea bills to get that mule near up and running, though. But yeah, we're going to end the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of an interesting run against the, um, in that Smooth Stones mission. Um, kind of, you know. With the exception of moving that, um, we had to make the dash across that gap. Uh, losing the um, the night gear was just, I don't want to say it was unavoidable, but it was very difficult. If we were going to take the, ga the gamble and go after that main guy, we kind of had to do that. And if those mechs on the hill decided to come down the mountain uh, and that guy just stayed back there, we would have been in a lot of trouble anyway. So we took the gamble, we went for it, we managed to kill the main guy, but... And his whole lance. Unfortunately, we just, you know, went about it um, in a kind of risky manner, unfortunately. All right, so if you enjoyed the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please be free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.